when you have lots of clips on the same track, they can end up looking very similar. It's possible to um, assign a color to a track by right clicking on the sequencer lane and assigning one. Uh, clips within a track can be individually colored as well. So if I repeat that trick of holding down the Alt key and duplicate that clip, I can right click on any clip and assign it a color. Now those are still the same notes, but they're now shown in different colors. And the reason you might want to do that is when you have lots of parts on the same track and you start to edit some of them to change the beats, to change the parts, it's much easier to be able to identify them quickly visually by seeing that they're a different color. Another interesting little trick that you can use if you right click on a clip is you can add a label to the clip. So if I do that, I could give it a name. And if I wanted to do the same, I could do that here as well and call it the intro. So that's an even better way to keep track of what's going on. If I double click on a MIDI clip, you'll see that it opens in edit mode. And this looks slightly different depending on what kind of module you've loaded. This happens to be a drum machine. So these are the different drum sounds on the left. And these are the notes that I've played and the different colors denote different velocities. This is something we'll talk about a bit later on, but it's good to know what this means. To get back into the main sequencer, I just hit this exit edit mode button or press command E. When I select a MIDI clip and go to the edit menu, there are various options here that we'll get into a little bit later, but they're worth just mentioning here. Get groove from clip uh, will extract the MIDI groove from a MIDI part, which is quite handy when it comes to taking the feeling from one clip and applying it to others. Uh, mute clips, pretty obvious. Uh, that will just temporarily mute but not delete the clip. And remove labels from clips, again, pretty straightforward. Gets rid of the names that you may have assigned to any of the clips. And these commands work on any selected clip or indeed on multiple selected clips. There we go. If I press the shift key, I'm able to select more than one clip. And so any commands that I made in the edit menu would apply to both or as many as you'd selected. So the part that we've made so far is okay. The timing isn't fantastic though. So next up, let's have a look at quantization and how we can play with the timing of our MIDI clips.